The posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour. What Mangila resident Natian Marion says is way too fast. Those people in here, they just want to race the car. Narian has lived in this Mangilao house since 2007. As she talked with KUAM today, she says her niece, 22-year-old Nana Nin, was visiting Guam from Chuk for the last two months. While on Guam, Nin was staying with Narian. Last night, Nin wanted to make a quick trip to the store across the street. She's supposed to go and buy a uh, card, long-distance card, to call her the dad. But I don't know what's going on what happened out there at the road. Although Narian wasn't outside at the time of the accident, she could hear the screams of onlooking family members as Neen was struck by a car. Neen was pronounced dead at Naval Hospital around 9.30 Sunday night before being transported to the Guam Memorial Hospital. As of early this morning, Guam Police Department spokesperson A.J. Balahaja says an individual turned himself in relative to the auto pedestrian incident. Um, a vehicle uh, a Toyota, uh, silver color Toyota, uh, 4x4, was headed westbound on Route 15 and then encroached um, into the other lane, striking the uh, pedestrian. Um, this morning at about uh, 3.23 a.m., uh, the operator of the suspected vehicle turned himself in to uh, the Agania Precinct. He is Mel uh, Chamorro, uh, 44 years old of Manilo. Um, he has been questioned by the investigators of Highway Patrol. There have been no arrests yet. While GPD conducts their investigation, Narian hopes the incident will prompt leaders to address the dangers of the busy road near her home. Today, as she sat in her wheelchair outside, the sound of cars zooming by was almost deafening. I already report to the mayor, and I don't know what's going on if the mayor is going to report to the public safety. Specifically, Narian would like to see a traffic light, speed bumps, and stronger enforcement of the posted speed limit. Until then, the family mourns the sudden loss of Nana Neen. She always make happy. She quiet, but she has a little bit long hair like that. She's really funny. She always making chalk. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.